Caleb Plant and Anthony Durrell had beef. Caleb Plant knocked Anthony Durrell into next week in the ninth round of that fight. He had a post-knockout celebration where he threw fake dirt on Durrell as if to bury him. The referee jumped in. Everybody got upset. Commentary is like, that's in bad taste. But was it? You guys probably saw it. Durrell and Plant had been at each other's throats for months, maybe even longer than that. Trash talk going back and forth. Caleb Plant even went as far as to say that he was upset because Darrell brought race into it by saying, a white boy will never beat me. Now, Darrell says those that never happened, but Plant seems to think so. But other than that, these two just had beef, talked a lot of trash to each other. So when it culminates in a fight, you can expect emotions to be high. Now, Plant knocked out Darrell. And that wasn't surprising. But when it happened, he celebrated. But are post-fight celebrations bad for boxing? My answer is sometimes, listen, if you're talking trash and you get knocked out, I feel like your opponent has every right to celebrate. Some people say, well, you don't know how hurt he is. Look, you got into a boxing ring. Your job was to get knocked out or knock the other person out. Other than that, I don't necessarily care. If you want to celebrate a knockout, that's on you. This was earned by Anthony Durrell. I figure if Anthony Durrell knocked out Caleb Plant, he might have done the same thing. You guys talk about good sportsmanship. Trash talk is part of the game. It's like a home run celebration, except you're not knocking the other person out. Look, I know Durrell looked bad in that knockout and he didn't get up for a while, but emotions ran high. I'm not sure if Plant would do that 10 times out of 10, but considering all the trash talk leading into that fight, a little post-fight celebration doesn't hurt anybody. Not at least in my opinion. But sometimes it can be unwarranted and it can hurt the sport. Now, let's just say Canelo Alvarez is fighting somebody that he's totally respectful of and he knocks him out and he does that same celebration. Yeah, that's distasteful. If two guys have respect for each other, you shouldn't do a post-knockout celebration because it is a fight, but you look at it as a competition and not a blood war. Durrell versus Plant was a blood war where Plant wanted to separate Durrell from his senses and, and Durrell wanted to do the same to Plant. I don't mind this. I don't mind emotions getting into the sport. If something bad happened to Darrell, that's a different story. But he was knocked out, which happens all the time in boxing. We can argue about whether we should even be doing the sport to begin with. That's a whole nother conversation. And I'm not here to have that. But what I am here to have is two guys talking trash. One knocks out the other and the other celebrates. It's part of the game. You may not like it. You may want to call it unsportsmanlike. We do this all the time in football. Don't celebrate a touchdown. In baseball, don't celebrate and admire your home runner. Somebody's going to throw a ball at your head. Come on, guys. It's a celebration. He did what he had to do. He promised he would knock him out. He did just that. Darrell hasn't complained about it since. He actually praised Caleb Plant for knocking him out, saying it was a punch that he didn't see coming. Now, he did say... I didn't say a white boy would never beat me. And he asked if uh, anybody could find that video of me saying it, I'll give him 10 grand. Maybe y'all will need to find it. But these two said a lot of bad things about each other. And in a fist fight, emotions are going to run high. Somebody's going to get hurt. And the other person is going to celebrate it because that's just the way it is. You can be mad at me for saying this all you want, but we've celebrated for less. We celebrated even more distasteful things in our lives in boxing where the object of the game is to punch the other person in the face until they lose consciousness. The worst part we can find is somebody celebrating that. Yeah, I think we're in the wrong sport for going to complain about those things. But let me know what you think. Are post-fight celebrations or post-knockout celebrations bad for boxing? I say it's a case-by-case -case basis. If you respect each other, yeah, it's bad because it's unwarranted. Nobody saw that coming. But if you two are engaging in a war of words and that war of words turns into a war of fisticuffs and that war of fisticuffs ends up leaving one person unconscious, the other person celebrating, all bets are off. But subscribe to this channel on Fighting Words because this is where we talk about controversial topics. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Would you celebrate knocking somebody out if they talk trash about your mama or your family? Or would you be respectful? I wouldn't. Let's talk about something else next week. I'll be back. Peace.